summer of cricket is still underway in our country with us having hosted the Ladies T20 World Cup and recently the Ladies Under-19 World Cup. We spoke to Captain My Captain about the privilege of leading the team as well as the lessons taken from the showpiece. Take me back to the moment where you got the call to say that, Olu, you are part of the SAT. I was actually down in Durban for matric vac with friends. So I wasn't with family, but um, I remember overhearing that the, the announcement would be on like a Teams video meeting. So I joined the meeting that morning. And um, yeah, I just, I found out through the meeting, I sent it through to my mom. My mom also sent me a picture at the exact same time of me on the TV all of my friends just seeing it on the Protea Women's account, um, reposting on their Instagram stories. And yeah, it was really amazing. My mom, like she called me, we had a whole conversation. I had um, an interview on the radio as well that afternoon. So my mom heard it and yeah, she was in tears. So yeah, it was, it was a really amazing feeling. And also just being around my friends was, was really nice. I mean, they were just there to congratulate me. We went out and all of my friends, yeah, well done, well done. A lot of like, People that I don't really speak to as well coming up to me and congratulating me. So yeah, it was, it was an amazing moment. I, I wouldn't change the moment. And going into the World Cup itself, those two games that we had in the beginning with India and then the next game was with Scotland. How did you find those two games that we had? And I know with your, with your batting, you would have loved to contribute mm. more. Yeah, um, I was very disappointed in myself. Um, the day against the, the game against India, that was, I felt like it was going to be a good day for me. I was feeling good in the nets. The warm-up game against Bangladesh, I made a 30-odd, so I was like, OK, I'm back. But um, yeah, I just went back into old habits, stuff that I was working on um, with coach um, in the World Cup and leading up to the World Cup, I just went back on and I wasn't happy with myself because, I mean, everyone was going out there and doing the job except for me for those two games. So I was just, I was very disappointed. and. Obviously not contributing to the team, it's, it's huge. Um, and also I put a lot of blame on myself and responsibility when I don't go out there and execute for the team because I know what I can do and what I'm capable of. But obviously I didn't get to showcase that in this World Cup and it's a learning curve and maybe there's something around the corner that's gonna come, but it was, it was very tough, especially the Scotland game. There's a lot of runs on the board that could be made. It was an amazing deck to bat on, so I was just disappointed that I didn't get the runs away. Your teammates spoke so highly of just your captaincy. How would you describe how you led the team? Um, for me, you know, whenever someone asks me this question, it's a hard one because um, I don't like to be too, you know, but um, yeah, I think I led the team with a lot of maturity. Um, I've played a lot of cricket in my time. Um, it's been, I've learned a lot as well, um, playing in senior women's teams from Gauteng to Eastern Province, I've picked up a lot and I've learned a lot from the elders. So I really did try to take all of those learnings into the World Cup and also be a leader that I'd want to be led by. Um, so, you know, someone that's a good person as well, not, not always like, uh, just the captain but also uh, like the human aspect of me like so that you know my teammates can see the human aspect of me and also just connecting with the players a lot I mean I I've got to know every single one of them on a very good level and that's what I feel like really helped because I knew everything about them what they like what they don't when they're okay when they're down just by reading body language so it was really nice in in my sense I think I led in a way where I got to know and like I really took the care factor of the players into a lot of consideration. After chatting to Olufe, we caught up with the latest addition to the team, who's no stranger to representing the country on world stages, including the Olympic Games, Sunet Filyun. We also took the time to catch up with her teammates a little bit more. Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon, right? Sure, 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 sure. As you obviously are aware, there's some cameras here and wada wada wada. Okay, so we're gonna enjoy the action. It's Lions TV. Okay, they're here just to capture a few behind scenes of the ladies' training. Any news, Skip? Any, any words to the team? I was just enjoying Ah, sharp, sharp. Sure, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three, three. Yes. <laughs> I'm Sunit Filiun-Lau, I'm a four-time Olympian, I flew javelin, 
Um, I won the uh, Rio Olympic silver medal. Um, and now I'm playing for the DP World Lions. I'm opening batsman and a bowler as well. I've been living in Johannesburg um, for 13 years now, so logistically it just makes sense for me to, to play for the Lions. I, I love the setup that the Lions has, um, and I think I can, can play my best cricket at the DP World Lions. Uh, there's a fantastic team environment, loving to be part of the team, um, all the chattering, and um, I've been welcomed with over open arms. My most favourite stadium are for sure Newlands, and um, I made my highest score there of 80. My favourite stadium has to be the Boring, my home ground, because I think it's one of the best in the country and I'll always rate it any day. Our favourite stadium I choose Kingsmead, Durban. It's because of uh, it's more of a bedding, uh, cre uh, bedding pitch, that side. The Bullring. I mean, it's the most iconic stadium, and the most beautiful stadium in this whole South, South Africa. My favourite stadium by a country mile that I've played at would be the Wanderers. My average there is pretty decent. Uh, so in terms of like a batting perspective, I love it. It's the most beautiful stadium in the country. And when, like as a youngster, it was the stadium I grew up at, you know, around watching my favorite players. So it has to be, and I'm now in the tunnel, so I have to love it. <laughs> uh, the Wanderers is my favorite stadium to play at. It's our home ground and so we get the most supporters. Um, the best stadium I've played at thus far is Newlands. And funny enough, I've been playing provincial cricket for 17 years and I've only ever played there once. The funniest player in the team is me. I'll say it's the most funniest person ever, Coach Sean. Uh, the funniest person in the team is definitely Samantha. <laughs> funniest member, Anguli. The funniest player in the team is Sam Skitter. Funniest, Sam Skitter. Sir Andrew. <laughs> The laziest person in the team, uh, Sarah. And the laziest in the team, I would probably say Rafael Wemunshu. Yo, that's a hard one. There could be a lot of people. I would say the laziest person is Nkuli. The laziest person in the team for me is Nkuli. Um, laziest, Coach Sean. <laughs> The most stubborn player, Rafael Wemonshu, because she seems to not take instructions well, if I would say. Most stubborn, definitely Sonny. Sonny Sadik is the stubbornest person in the team because you can't tell her anything. She always goes with what she says. Phew, putting me on the spot here, most stubborn person in this team. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say it would be Champs. Most hardworking player, I would say Slice is the most hardworking player because of her dedication throughout all her injuries so far. Most hardworking person in my opinion is Slice. Pasta, myself, I'm the most hardworking. Definitely Sarah, Sarah Nettleton. She really, this season, she's brought her stuff. She's been doing everything and the way she has to say, so yeah, Sarah Nettleton. Uh, the most hardworking, definitely uh, all of us. The dance of the group definitely Basta Khomotso. The dance of the group is Basta. The dance of the team is definitely Khomotso Rapu. Sam's Kutta. Definitely always dancing no matter what. <laughs> I'm the dancer of the group. Special moments I've shared with this team. I will choose uh, the time we're playing a home game at Wanderers Stadium against Northerns. The time I made it 50. It's a special moment for me. I think watching the under 19s that come from us go play at the World Cup, I think it's special for all of us, really. I think making my debut at the age of 13, that has to be the biggest one. You can also, I think, at that particular age, also having to travel with them and get my, my hat trick on the, on the first game that I ever played with them. The special moment that I've shared with this team, it was when we were at the Cape Town bubble in 2020, where we were playing against Northerns and we scored like 70 all out. And he went there with like the lions 
like power. Let's go defend that score and we really defended it. We took Northerns out by like 32 all out. I wouldn't say there's a special moment thus far, but the past two seasons have been special to me as I feel I've been peaking. Shout out to the squad for sharing their lighter side off the cricket pitch.